Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, well, we talk about you know the things that we think will be coming to Windows 12 and so on. Now, there's an interesting uh, little leak that DeskModder, a, a Twitter user, and a few other people have picked on uh, considering Windows 12. Of course, Windows 11, we all know, is the first operating system that requires a minimum requirement that is quite high in a long time. And one of them, the TPM, the famous TPM, is... Um, what is probably one of the most, um, you know, poo-pooed, if you want, uh, feature. A lot of people don't understand why TPM is actually something that should be. And, of course, Windows 11, although it can use TPM, and by the way, Windows 10 can also use TPM in some ways, um, it's not really mandatory in a sense that nothing in Windows 11 standard installed really uses it yet it is a minimum requirement but you can bypass it of course well apparently in Windows 12 the bypass will be impossible for TPM 2.0 and the reason why is because there will be implementation of security features within Windows that will actively use TPM and those features if they're not enabled Windows 12 would not work. So that's one thing that we learned, that TPM 2.0 is going to be mandatory, which means, of course, that's a Windows 11 minimum requirement, so that's fine for Windows 11 users that are supported. Another interesting thing about it is concerning the Pluton coprocessor, if you want. So we talked about how the... Windows 12 operating system might be kind of AI based for, you know, some artificial intelligence in it. And that means that it would need some form of neural processor. And one of the things that they're looking at is Pluton, which is right now only on an AMD chip. Intel does not have it right now. Um, and that is interesting because it starts with Ryzen 6000 CPUs and later that would be there and of course some are asking is could that be mandatory and what most think is that it would not be mandatory because there's not enough people that would have pluton co-processing chips in a pc but it could be an optional option that would be uh, there if you do have it you'll have increased capabilities in Windows 12 but it would not be mandatory the people don't think or most most don't think it will be mandatory but of course none of that is decided yet uh, but you know from now to next year barely a little more than a year I don't think there's going to be enough computers out there with Pluton chips to you know make a mandatory for an operating system such a demand and of course, we talked about it. We now know that eight gigabytes will be the minimum requirement. So that would kind of put Windows 12 in TPM 2.0 is now mandatory because it will be used. And it will, of course, ask for a possible Pluton coprocessor. Um, but, you know, if only AMD has it and there's still no other manufacturers, um, what's going to happen with that? We'll see. Uh, maybe they're even going to back off from that. Who knows? So that's going to be interesting. Um, what will be the minimum requirement officially once they decide that that's what we want? And I guess that will come probably only next year. They're going to look at you know, the market, what are the PCs out there exactly, and what will we put as a minimum requirement. But for now, what it seems that if you have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM and you can run Windows 11, you should technically, for now, it still looks like you should technically be able to move to Windows 12. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.